All right. Welcome back to the Drivers Hub. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but we're at BMW's Joy Town event. Now I'm pretty sure you've already seen the vlog that has come out. It is an epic event over here, and it's going all across India. Right over here behind me is the brand new G82 BMW M4 competition. This thing is a beast, and today I'm going to tell you all about this monster. And I'm going to show you how this thing is when you start drifting and doing burnouts with it. So to give you a brief history on the BMW M4, this over here is the G82 series. The older generation was the F82 series, and before that there was no such thing as a 4 series. Ever since the F82 series, BMW has started calling their M3 coupe basically the M4. Thus, this is the brand new M4. It comes equipped with the S58 twin turbocharged inline six cylinder, which is an epic power plant. It produces 503 bhp and a shit ton of torque. I'm not too sure of the torque figure, so I'm going to put it over here. Stock this thing can basically creep into the low 11s or the high 10s. That's how fast this thing is because it comes equipped with the MX drive system, which gives it amazing traction off of the line. But if you want to do the classic M hooligan stuff, you can do it because it has a drift mode basically where you can disconnect the front axle and make it only rear wheel drive. Now, mated to the S58 engine is an 8-speed torque converter gearbox uh, by ZF Transmissions, and it's not the most responsive gearbox out there, but it definitely suits the character of the car. The upshifts that it does, it sounds epic because of the pops and the bangs and just the way it sounds. Start shifting gears now. Tuned BMW M4 G82s are super duper fast. I think so. There's a car in America which is already been tuned, and it's just basic a basic stage two car. Downpipes, exhaust, intake, and that thing does the quarter mile in under 10 seconds. That's how potent the BMW G82 M4 is. A proper little performance car. Thankfully, the music has died down a little bit, so I can talk a little bit more about the new G82 M4. Now, I'm not sure what you think of the front. Comment down below if you like it, if it's grown on you, or if you just don't like it, if you think it's hideous. Personally, I think it's a great-looking vehicle, especially when you start looking at it in the flesh. It's super aggressive. It's super low, and yeah, it's a beast. Now, I'm definitely sure that everyone likes the M4 from the rear. For sure, because it's so aggressive, it's so angular. You get a carbon fiber diffuser with quad tailpipes. It looks like M4. Like it's always been super aggressive, super low. Looks like a German muscle car. Uh, of course, being a G82, the latest and greatest from BMW. It follows the current design language, which is a little questionable if you ask BMW purists. But I'm not a BMW purist. I just love BMW M cars. So. This thing looks epic in my own opinion. Uh, I wish I could hop into the interior, but I don't think that's going to be possible right now, at least. It gets the M carbon fiber roof, which helps uh, lower the center of gravity. It has carbon fiber everywhere: carbon fiber wing mirrors, the proper M wing mirrors, carbon fiber diffuser, carbon fiber front lift, carbon fiber, a lot of stuff basically, as you can see. It gets the amazing-looking wheels. 
I just love the design of the wheels. Yeah, it's just a proper monster. And if we go, don't get to sit inside the car, I think so the next shot is going to be the outro. Now, even though the doors were locked when we were shooting the video for the M4, they were actually open during the day. And we did get a chance to get into the cabin of the car and my oh my, is it a good place to be in. You have the good old iDrive 7 in front of you, which we have gotten very used to now given all of the BMW cars we've driven. And also you sit very low in the car, being a proper M car. Also, the steering wheel has those beautiful M1 and M2 buttons, which you can program yourself to what settings you want the car to be in so that you can just press a button, put it into rear wheel drive mode and slide out of a corner with ease. Moreover, there are touches of M everywhere. The gear selector has M written on it. You have carbon fiber everywhere and the instrument cluster also has the M decals and logos everywhere. I really hope to get my hands on this beast very soon and shred some tires everywhere. Alright, so that's it from our end. Definitely the BMW M4 has to be one of the most exciting cars to be launched in India this year. I'm super intrigued to drive this. Hopefully BMW gets one of the G82 M4s in its uh, media fleet. And if so, definitely we will be driving it and we will be going sideways in it. So stay tuned for that video if it's going to be coming. So yeah, this is the BMW M4, one of my favorite cars and I hope to drive it very very soon. Subscribe to the channel, help us hit 100,000 subscribers in 2023 so that we can make more spicy content like this. So yeah, so, stay subscribed, follow us on Instagram, comment down below what you thought of the M4 and I'll catch you in the next one.